Yo, what's up, people? Smooth616 here, and I'm back with another video for ya. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, you know, I'm always jotting ideas down for, for videos, but my biggest problem is, is that I just, I have a hard time uh, finding the time to do them that isn't on the weekend. So during the week, like it is right now, it's hard for me to film, but today, you know, I got up nice and early, and went to my list of ideas and I was like, you know what, I've had this one for so long and I'm like, let's just do it. So today I'm bringing you a video of my, what I call my go-to films. And what I'm, what do I mean by my go-to films? Well, it's simply the fact that uh, films that I, I can watch over and over and over again at any time, any place, you know, any type of mood, whatever. Um, and what it really comes down to is that I do buy a lot of movies, and I have a lot of movies that I'm watching on a daily basis that I've never seen before. Um, if I don't feel like watching something that I've never seen before, I just feel like sitting down and watching a movie that you know just brings complete excitement to me. I know what I'm getting myself into. You know, I know I'm not going to be let down. I put one of these movies in, and you know there is quite a few here, but I, you know, I have a. A passion for films and I do love a lot of films but these are my go-to ones ones that I watch over and over again like I said a lot of times I come home Friday night Saturday night or whatever you know feeling pretty damn good from all the beers I pop any one of these ones in let's get into it blood junkie <clears throat> I absolutely love this film this film was recommended recommended to me by OD666666 also known as Jason um, I did have my eye on it anyways because it was a trauma release, but you know what trauma, you never know what you're going to get. It could be really good, it could be really bad, it could be mediocre, it could just do nothing for you, you know? This is a movie that I absolutely fell in love with. I watched it the first time, and I was like, fuck, that's such a cool movie. Um, it's not the longest movie in the world, it's only about 72 minutes. Uh, it's like a throwback 80s style horror kind of comedy, you know, slasher film. It's very fucking cool, man. If you've never seen this, I re highly recommend this. I've, I've watched this movie probably three times in like the last month and a half. Again, you know, I've had this movie probably a year now. Um, but uh, yeah, Blood Junkie, definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. Another trauma release, Class of Newcomb High. I mean, what can I say? Everybody knows pretty much everything about all these movies I'm going to show, but that's why I'm not really going to talk about them that much. But Class in Muka High, everybody knows this one. Uh, it's just a fun, good time. It's got just quirky trauma, you know? Like, I mean, you can't go wrong when you pop in Class in Muka High. If you've never seen this movie, I don't know where you've been, but it's fucking amazing. And yeah, and I'm really, really fucking stoked for the new one coming out, so... That should be awesome. I really hope it's good. Uh, next up is uh, Gutter Balls. Now this is one that I always seem to pop in on like a Saturday night when I come home pretty drunked up. <laughs> and I always want to watch Gutter Balls because the gore just gets me going, man. It just fucking... I, this movie's so gory and bloody and it's just... It's so over the top. There's so much cursing in this movie and it's just... It's just a fun-ass time. I remember popping this movie in for my buddy one night because he always he heard me talking about the movies. Like I got to, I got to see this. So I, I was kind of skipping to parts, of showing him some death scenes and stuff. And he's like, I had to show him the rape scene. And he's like, man, there's so much f bombs in that movie. I'm like, oh yeah, I think they might have broke a record. But <laughs> uh, gutter balls, fucking love this one, man. I always recommend it to people, man. Um. Killer Party, this was recommended to me by Vance sometime last year, and I'm really happy that, you know, I found this movie because, or that I was recommended this movie, because this is one that I just, when I first watched this, this is one of those movies that, you know, honestly, I wish I could watch for the first time every time, because the end of this movie fucking blew me away, I absolutely loved it, this movie just screams 80s, it's so fucking 80s, came out in 1986, and uh, it's just a really cool slasher film. Awesome, awesome shit. I could never recommend Killer Party enough. I love this movie to death. I watch it all the time. Uh, Dead Alive, uh, Peter Jackson's Gore Fest. Everybody knows everything about this movie. It just, for me, it has so much replay value. I can watch this one over and over and over again. Um, I should actually grab Bad Taste, too. That's another movie I can watch over again. But I got enough here. Dead Alive. So 
much replay value. It's just the scene in this movie where they're eating lunch or dinner or whatever, and it just with all the... Oh, fuck. I, I, it just makes me gag. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's nasty. Dead Alive. Love it. Another late night one that I love to pop in. Uh, Fright Night. This is one that is strictly nostalgic. I love this one for nostalgia reasons. Um, like I, I've stated before, this is the very first horror movie that I ever remember watching. My dad introduced me to horror films. He used to love to rent films back in the day and just try to scare me. It really did work because this one burnt, was left burnt in my mind. And I was so fucking freaked out, man, for so long about this one. Um, but I also remember the big stand-up of uh, the cover in the video store back in, in our local video store. And I always fucking, I just loved it, man. Every time I go in there, I, I'd see it. I just wanted it so bad. You know, it's, I would love to find one of those things to, to this day. Um, love Fright Night. Pro probably my favorite vampire movie of all time. Uh, next up is uh, Dream Warriors Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Now, I just did my Nightmare on Elm Street Marathon the other day. And, uh, you know, I'd actually watch this movie about two or three weeks before that. You know, because that's how much I love this movie. I just, I love everything about it. I, I love the kills. I love the whole, I just, everything about this one. Everybody knows about that one, so. Uh, and uh, another trauma one, talking about uh, the first Toxic Avenger film. Um, I can watch the first Toxic, I just, it's so goofy and fun and gory and just goofy. <laughs> like, I just, I love the whole Toxic Avenger character. It's just so awesome. Um... Everything about the Toxic Adventure, man. I can actually watch, like, all four films, even the cartoon that's in here. Uh, I love Toxie, man. It's just fucking good shit. Uh, just some Blu-rays here, The Lost Boys. Now, here's a movie I actually popped in on Saturday, you know, feeling a little bit tipsy. Had to watch uh, The Lost Boys, you know, at, like, 3.30 in the morning because that's how I roll. Um, love this movie. Love the soundtrack. I love the characters. I love the setting of this movie. Um, yeah, I just, this is a great one, man. It's just so much damn replay value, but, you know, another movie that everybody knows of. Uh, The Return of the Living Dead. This one I find just so funny. I mean, I remember watching this movie for the first time back in the day. It was in the 80s, and, <laughs> being, and laughing out loud at the fact that the zombies were saying brains more brain <laughs> I was like what I just loved it man but the ending always made me laugh in this movie for some reason I don't know what it is I, I guess I'm kind of kind of fucked like that but the ending always trips me out but another great one just full of fucking awesome characters and shit I love this one uh, my favorite horror movie of all time Dawn of the Dead the original uh, I mean what can I say I'm a really 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 big fan of movies that are based in malls. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Uh, Choppy Mall, I didn't actually bring out, but that's another one I watch over and over and over again because I love the setting. I love anything that's based in a mall. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about malls and like department stores and shit like that. It just kind of does it for me, but this one, I... This is actually... This Blu-ray is just the uh, theatrical cut. I actually like watching the extended cut a little more just because it is longer and is my favorite movie, but... Dawn of the Dead, everyone knows that one. Uh, now here's a movie that, you know, I haven't done this in a long time. Where I'd watch a movie, and then after the credits rolled, just press play again, and then watch it again. But, you know, I've watched this movie many times before, and I recently, not recently got the Blu-ray, but I just recently started watching the Blu-ray, because I'd always watch my DVD, which I think is actually right behind me. Oh, uh, yeah, it is actually right here. Um, I do prefer the cover art on Killer Clowns from Outer Space on the on the DVD. Um, but, yeah, this movie I fucking love, and I hate clowns. I think it. I think that's what's adding to it. I, it's just this whole movie is so fucking goofy, and the clowns in those, you know, the little people in those big fucking suits. I don't know, man. It just makes me laugh. This movie actually looks really good on Blu-ray. I kept hearing from people it didn't look that good, but maybe it just maybe it's my TV or something. I don't know, but this thing looked fucking great on Blu-ray, man. I, anyways, I watched it one night. I was bullshitting with... Uh, I was in a chat room with Tad and DJ Boy, and, you know, and I was watching this movie, and then I just fucking had to watch it again. I just absolutely love this movie. But, 
Yeah, it's another one that I just I can't get enough of. It's great. Uh, the classic Night of the Creeps. Now, my buddy Richard Horse Show Three Thousand always talks about this movie. He loves this movie so much. Um, you know, I'm on board with that because this one I've watched so many fucking times in my life. I mean, if you could wear out a DVD, I might have even worn that out. I think it's probably close behind me too. I actually kind of. I think the. Oh yeah, this one is a little. Actually, no, the cover art is different on the DVD than the. I actually prefer this one better, the DVD version to the. Uh, to the Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, uh, Night of the Night of the Creeps, classic shit, man. Love the whole idea. Um, it's just uh, it's just a really really well made horror movie with so much replay value. Love it. Now this one I've talked about a million fucking times in my life. I can recite almost every single line in this movie, and that's American Psycho. And in my opinion, Christian Bale's best performance ever. I don't think he'll ever be able to top this. Uh, the dialogue in this movie is so intriguing to me. There's this movie shot so well. There's so many scenes that are so memorable. I mean, obviously the the scene with the uh, the business cards and I think my favorite scene in the movie is when he's, you know, he's talking to the girls about, uh, like, Huey Lewis in the news and Phil Collins and stuff, and he's getting ready to have that threesome, but just the dialogue and the way he's, the way he's putting it out there, and, oh, fuck, man, I, it's just such a great fucking movie, man, and, uh, I know Jack Rips is a big fan of this one, too, and, yes, buddy, if you're watching this, I am definitely gonna read the book one day, because I fucking love this. Uh, now, this... I don't have the biggest Blu-ray horror collection. I'm probably maybe a hundred and actually I've picked up quite a few lately. Maybe a hundred and forty horror Blu-rays. This by far, Intruder, is the most watched horror Blu-ray in my collection. Since I've got this movie on Blu-ray, I have watched this probably like a hundred times. I swear to God, I watch this shit all the time. I love this movie. Now, I wish there was more movies that had settings in. Uh, in grocery stores because I love the setting. It's just so perfect. One thing about this movie that I always love watching, especially in high def too, because you can really see in the background is uh, I'm a really big cereal fan. I know I'm like a little fucking kid. I love my cereal. Um, but uh, I love when they're in that aisle and just looking at all the different cereals from the 80s because this movie came out in what, 1989 I believe, 88, 89 I think. Um, but yeah, and it's crazy. I just, I love seeing all that shit, man. I, like I said, big serial fan, so. But Intruder, great kills. Just awesome fucking movie. Another go-to one, The Devil's Rejects. I watched this movie, man, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've actually seen this movie before. Um, I love A House of a Thousand Corpses, but I do, I like this movie a lot better. Um... House of a Thousand Corpses is one of the only movies that always leaves me feeling sick after I watch it. I don't know what it is about that movie, but I always feel ill after I watch it. It's like the weirdest fucking thing. I've seen it tons of times and I always feel sick after. Um, but The Devil's Rejects, uh, just amazing soundtrack. This movie is fucked. <laughs> like, you really think about it, it is hardcore fucked. But, uh, you know, I... I've come to the realization this has got to be my favorite anthology film of all time. I used to be fucking creep show for so long. I love anthologies. I've, I have like hundreds of them. Um, well, maybe not hundreds, but I have lots. But this one I watch all the time. Now I keep I keep hearing people uh, trick or treat. In case you don't know, um, that uh, people generally only like to watch this around Halloween and stuff. Now this is one of those ones I can watch all the time. I think it's so damn fucking cool, man. I just. The whole structure of this film, how everything kind of comes together, and I just, I love the structure of this film. I think it's so well done, brilliant, so much fucking replay value. And last up, sorry about this long ass video, I didn't realize that I actually grabbed out that many, but uh, Stuart Gordon's uh, Reanimator, uh, I can watch this movie all the fucking time. I love this movie. Um, Jeffrey Combs in this movie is just like tantalizing to me. His performance is just so cool. I, th I just find him so intriguing in this movie. Um, and just the whole, you know, reanimation idea too is just, it's fantastic. Uh, I could never say enough good things about this. I love the zombies. I just, everything about this one's awesome. Barbara Crampton, fucking, she was beautiful back in the day. Uh, but yeah, Reanimator, another one. And those are my go-to horror movies, so, 
yeah. Movies that I like to watch over and over and over again. Never get enough of those. Anyways, I think this video's gone on way too fucking long. I tried to speed it up, and but I just picked out too many. But anyways, Mood616 signing off. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and peace out, homies.